big story at 5:30, a major military drill that caused some disruptions at local bases. Yeah, it's dubbed Operation Solid Curtain, and it's designed to test the readiness of military security. Well, new at 5:30, 10 on your side's military reporter Art Khan shows us how it works. Art. Anita, the exercise I was invited to today took place at Joint Base Little Creek Fort Story, and much like a couple of real-life incidents that have happened in Hampton Roads, first responders from both the military and civilian agencies joined forces to save lives and property. Fire and rescue from Navy Region Mid-Atlantic is the first to arrive on the scene. Although this is not a real plane crash, this scenario is based on actual events. On December 13th, 1984, there actually was a small aircraft that came in short to runway 23 in the Norfolk International Airport. In this scenario, the aircraft will clip the port operations tower and crash on the base. Our units are going to have a very dynamic scenario today. Um, with casualties in the tower as well as around a burning aircraft. Does anybody know what happened to this guy? I didn't want to lead a truck. They're already triage tagged. With casualties spread out everywhere, there is organized chaos. This is a worst case scenario. God forbid something that happens, but if it happens, we want to be ready and we, won't have, we don't want to have to have seen it for the first time when it actually happens. They wear different uniforms, but on this day, the Coast Guard, Navy, and Virginia Beach Fire and Rescue are all on the same team. This kind of teaming has already proven its value, most recently during the Navy jet crash at Mayfair Muse Apartments in Virginia Beach. In uh, 2012, um, if we hadn't have done the training before that, I don't think we would have had the success we had. Um, with Mayfair Muse. In this scenario, as in real life, when first responders arrive on this scene, they don't know if what they're seeing was the result of an accident or an act of terror. We all remember what happened on 9-11. One more reason why training like this is so important. But it's a great opportunity for the organizations that are outside the base to come in and work those things that we've talked about or we've done tabletop exercises and see if they work in a real life situation working together to keep a bad situation from getting worse. Now, all of the agencies that participated in the exercise today will meet to determine what went well with the exercise and identify areas where improvements can be made. By the way, Operation Solid Curtain Citadel Shield runs through the 28th of this month, so be aware because other aspects of this exercise could create some traffic problems entering and exiting naval installations in the area. Art Khan, 10 on your side.